Welcome back to another episode of RimWorld. Oh boy. We got Black Jenny's in the in the barn. We got Donald. Uh with where where's Cock? Where is Cock anyway? Oh, there's Cock. There he is. And uh we also slaughtered all of our puppies. Um I guess I'll do like a small recap. So we slaughtered a bunch of puppies. Um we basically watched a lot of our colonists have mental breakdowns and go fucking crazy. We had a few uh we had a prisoner start cutting themselves. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, Wes got anxiety or PTSD. I'm going to call it PTSD. Who has an infection? Cola? Oh, well, that's what you get for cutting yourself. We might have to amputate. Oh. Amelia. No. No, 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 no. Amelia, no. <laughs> I didn't... I didn't even know. You didn't even get treated for it. <laughs> yeah, I... <sighs> well... We're gonna have to do this then. Kreesu, you can't do that, Stugan. You're the only one with the skill to do it. Get that sarcophagus build as ASAP. I'm sorry, Amelia. It was it's great having you on here. Oh man, everyone's slowly dying. And it's really sad. <laughs> it gets really sad. A funeral has been planned on the 15th at 21 hour. So in two days. At the 21 hour. Okay. Alright. Oh, and hang on, hold up, hold up. A gardener, oh, got a gardener, so it's Amelia's replacement. <laughs> that sounds awful, but I have to do it. So we got Hitomi, Hitami, Hitomi, Hitami. All right. Um, so there they are, okay. Hitomi, uh, we gotta find you a weapon. Oh God, there's a bunch of people out here. Jesus Christ, take that, take that gun. Oh, they're shooting the dromedary! Oh no! Leave him alone, you assholes! What the hell did he do to you? Oh my god! Talk about dicks, man! It's just an animal! Leave it the fuck alone! What the hell did it do to you? <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna send you over to here. You get there. Good. Yeah. Stop shooting the fucking- No, stop! Kick! Oh my god, dude! He's down. Yeah. You guys are a bunch of cocks. I hope you know that. Honestly, go screw yourselves. No, 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 no. You can't kill Tortellini. No, 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 you can't do that. Alright, you sons of bitches, bring it the fuck on. No. You you actually You did it. You we lo we lost Tortellini, boys. We lost Tortellini. That's not good. Yes, fuck you guys, dude. Donald's dead too. They're just coming in and killing all of our pets. What the fuck is going on? Stop. All right, Hitomi, I need you to go up here and just fucking wreck his ass. That's a trench gun. Take that. Take that. Oh god. All right, get over here. Get out of the t get out of sight. Oh my god, it told me. Come on, you're right there. You have a shotgun. Shoot him with your shotgun. Thank you. You had a shotgun. Alright, good. Keep shooting him. Oh my god, the dromedary's kicking his ass too. Very good. Very nice. I have very many plans for this man. We are gonna torture this man beyond the belief if he gets knocked down. That's all that needs to happen. Oh my god, he didn't get knocked down. But Hitomi got knocked down. Well, everyone, we lost Tortellini. This is his body. He got his stomach destroyed. Wow. And there goes Dromedary 1. You, you died. Your death was senseless. Dordalini kind of had it coming. He was challenging him to a fight. But Jesus Christ, man. We're losing everyone. Like, Tortellini's death is... That's... I, I don't have words for that. Okay, so... 
Cola is going to be dying here in a minute. I'm glad I caught this because now I'm going to strip you of all your clothing before you die so we can use your clothing. All right, so that's good. Now, I'm going to quickly call an operation on your ass. Wait, what are... It's the right arm? We might have to harvest your right arm. I think we're going to have to do it. Amputate the right arm. We're going to have to do it. It's the only way to save you. All right, uh... Who's the who's the good doctor here? Who's the good doc? We have no good doctors. <laughs> okay. Um Vac, this is your chance to shine. You got to you got to prioritize operating on this man. All right, let's see how well this operation goes. Okay, good, good, good. Get the clipper. Right, I got the clipper. All right, I'm grabbing. Hey, hold still, hold still. Hold still. Hang on. I'm grabbing your arm. All right. Oh, I'm sorry for the blood in your face there. Okay. I'm taking it in there. Oh, okay. Oh. Jesus Christ, man, you you have big, strong arms. Holy shit. Okay, hang on, hang on. All right, I'm grabbing my knife now. All right, all right, you're going to feel a little bit of a pinch here. You know, it's me stabbing into your artery. Hang on. All right. All right. All right, I got it in there. All right. Oh, Vec failed ca catastrophically on this man. Did you at least amputate the arm? Okay, so you didn't really fail. <laughs> you succeeded. It just didn't go very well. That's basically what you're saying. All right, yeah, get that, get that medicine quick. Grab that. There we go. We're almost out of medicine, actually. Yeah, you gotta hurry up and patch him up before he bleeds out. All right, I think we're good. Oh, now you're gonna go get more. I hope you know, like, you gotta stop. You gotta fix him up before he gets another infection. That's not what I want. Sorry about your arm, by the way, Cola, but it's the only way you're gonna live. You understand now? <laughs> Is there anything else we could do? Administer that medicine to him. I don't use medicine very often, but let's do it. Prioritize, like, give, give him that medicine. It's like supposed to stop infections from happening, so you might as well give it to him. That way he doesn't get another one. We don't want to amputate both of his arms. <laughs> that would suck. Or both of, I don't know. We just don't want to amputate too much, because otherwise he's going to be like a walking noodle, I guess. <laughs> Why is there just a gun in the fucking prisoner's room? I hope you know, like, the, uh, that's not a good idea. Like, Vec, um, you might want to prioritize hauling that out. You don't want them to have a gun in their room. That's not safe. They're prisoners, okay? They don't. You don't want to give them anything. Son of a bitch, I wanted that gun. Last, you get out of here. Okay, yeah, I, I wanted that gun, man. I was going to shoot Owl. That was gonna, oh, hi, Stugan. Hi. Hi, yeah. Okay, yeah. I was going to use that gun, and I was just going to light up Owl, and then I was going to turn towards whoever else is in here and just blast them against the wall, and I was going to break my way out of here. But nope, nope, they had to take the gun. Yeah, someone's got to go in here and clean this room, like, really badly. Like, Kriso, can you... We won't do cleaning. Okay, alright. Yeah, cl go in here and clean that. Need to clean up their room a bit. They really needs cleaning. So they stop freaking out about it not being clean. Matilda is pregnant! That's new. A pregnant dog. I mean, hey, whatever. As long as there's not too many dogs walking around, we'll be fine. And Cola's ready to be recruited, even though she doesn't have an arm. I guess she's got that on her though, so that she won't get sick. So I mean, we're we're good there, but you you are missing an arm. You are you are you're a psychopath. All right, yeah, I don't know. You're gonna fit in just fine. So I was looking at Amelia's uh, sarcophagus. And it's ingrained with an artwork's stylized purple banners covered in inners. A group of armadillos flee the area. The image is bordered by seven hawks. This illustration relates to Amelia's village being attacked by vampires. Interesting, Amelia. You're gonna have to explain that one. What, like what? Like, how, like, where was your village? Like, why was it attacked by vampires? I'm curious. You're going to have to explain that one, because I don't know. You, I mean, you might know your backstory more than I do, so, I mean, leave that in the comments below. But, like, I, I don't know. That's that's a interesting little story. So, I'm almost willing to bet you guys probably can see that this series is starting to wind down, because it really is. It's starting to really slow down. There's not much happening. I mean, we just got a new recruit, so, I mean, I, it's an armless recruit, but, hey, I mean, I guess it's a recruit nonetheless, but still, like, it... It is winding down. People are starting to go insane, and yeah, it's not looking too hot. But I'm try. I'm still in the midst of looking for another game or two to move on to. Um, so if you have any suggestions, please leave them below, because that would be really much appreciated. Um, I was thinking about the uh, what was what did he say it was? Um, it's like an SCP like management game. What the hell was it? I I, I don't know. It's like monsters. What what the fuck is it? 
I don't know. I don't know what it's called, but like if any of you guys know, it's like a SCP like management game where you like it's like an SCP like test thing thing where you I, I couldn't really tell you. I, I looked at like the trailer for it and I was like, I'm playing this because <laughs> it looks like something I would play on this channel and it looks like something I could have a lot of fun with. And I mean a lot of fun with like that looked awesome. You like it looked like you'd like to have test subjects or whatever. And you just do crap with them and it looks fun as hell. But yeah, now if you have any suggestions below, please. Please tell me. Like, I was also looking at Two Point Hospital. I feel like that would be a good one. Um, I'm trying to find some, like, co-op games that I could play with uh, Meme Squad. Some, like, co-op, like, management-like games. Like, we were thinking about doing Stellaris as a group, maybe. That could be fun. Like, a Stellaris series. Um, we were also thinking about doing that for a stream, eventually. There's there's a lot of things we were thinking about doing. Like, we're, I'm constantly trying to think about stuff for youtube because it that's what you got to do with youtube you got to sit there and you just got to think about everything yeah you literally that's literally all you do you just think and constantly think about what i can do next and what people might want to see next and you don't want to get stuck catering to your audience what you want to do is you want to think about what you want to do and what they want to see and you have to try and find that middle ground where it's like they want to see it and you want to play it it's not like a thing where like you don't want to play it, but they want to see it you don't want to get stuck in that situation no one wants that that's not good. That that's 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 just no, just no. Um, and I'm sorry if you watch me for my RimWorld videos, but you got You got to understand that like I, I can't do this forever. <laughs> I, I just can't. It, as much as I love this game, I just it's it, it's not gonna happen. I I can't play this for like years to come. I I can't. I just can't. I might come back to it in the future. I mean, who knows? I mean, this game is a game design like masterpiece. Like if you guys know anything about like programming or just how like game design works in general like no this game is definitely very high up there in terms of just being a masterpiece especially considering it's made by one guy i mean he didn't do the artwork alone apparently apparently he had like a lot of outsourced help but still like he this man is a genius his name was uh what is it tynan sylvester or something like that yeah he, he is a genius oh my god and it looks like we got a self self-tamed elephant um anyway i think i'm probably gonna end the episode here um i hope you enjoyed next episode well i shouldn't say next episode but probably when i record next weekend i'm probably going to do a kenshi like a few kenshi videos i might what i might do is play kenshi on my own to try and figure out how to play it and then play it for the youtube channel that's actually a possibility i might do that it actually kind of sounds like fun so anyway like thank you for watching um cock is being attacked by cobra Son of a bitch. Oh no. Oh, and dandelions eating cock. Alright. Alright, that's one hell. That's one way to end the episode. <laughs>